What is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about Fortnite's new OG Chapter 1 game mode, which just launched today. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what you think of this OG Fortnite game mode. So this game mode has the Chapter 1 Season 1 map exactly as it was in actual Chapter 1 Season 1, to my knowledge. So it is very basic, it's very bare bones, it's very empty there is a lot of pois added in season two that are missing in the current chapter one season one version of this map and this game mode is playable in both builds and zero builds the loot pool we have is also pretty on par with chapter one we have the regular ar the burst ar and the scoped ar the burst is actually the old model of the burst ar along with the old audio of some of these weapons returning including the classic scar sound that a lot of people have wanted back ever since it was removed in chapter one oddly enough there is a purple and gold version of the burst rifle in the loot pool which wasn't actually there in season one or chapter one it's the og burst model but it comes in purple and gold for some reason for shotguns we have the pump and the tack shotguns the pump comes in white and green rarity and then the tack comes in white to blue rarity so white green and blue for the spray weapons we have the old tech nine looking smg the tactical smg the pistol it is the fully automatic version of the pistol which we've had in like recent seasons and then the revolver is back as well for snipers we have the regular bolt action sniper and the semi-auto sniper nothing too special there for explosive weapons we have the rpg the grenade launcher and the regular grenades uh and they actually have the old chapter one picture of the grenades or season one picture of the grenades when they're in your inventory and then we do have the chapter one version of the grenade launcher back as well where the the grenades have to like bounce and then there's like a certain amount of time before they detonate the healing items we have in og are the bandages the med kit and the big pots and then we also have the slurp juice as well the slurp juice functions like the actual season one version of slurp juice where it gives you 25 shield and 25 white health over time so 50 total i don't really like it i think this was like a really bad version of the slurp juice and people kind of memed on this until they eventually reworked it to just give you 75 of whatever you need over time and then the med kit and the big pots are the more recent version of these heals where they give you health over time you don't have to complete the entire animation to get your heals and then there also is porta bunkers in zero build only the bunkers do not spawn in build mode in the chapter one game mode some of these weapons actually have stats more in line with how they were in chapter one so the gold scar headshots for 72 I think the blue AR headshots for 66. Both pumps can hit for over 200 damage. The common white pump will deal 225 max damage. And then the green one will do 237 damage. You actually can double pump or use two shotguns back to back. So you can shoot a pump shotgun, swap to a different one, swap back to your first one, swap back to your second one, and just alternate between pumps. Or you could shoot a pump shotgun and then swap to attack shotgun and then stay on that if you want to. In season five of chapter one, they removed this and added a delay when you shoot a shotgun to being able to like shoot another one if you swap to a second shotgun. But in season one, double pump was a thing. And so it is here in this game mode and they are going to be running through a lot of the different chapter one seasons. So I wouldn't be surprised if when we do get to season five of this OG game mode that they remove double pump at that point. And then another thing to talk about is going to be the range of these shotguns because <clears throat> I'm not sure if it was for like all of season one where the pumps had like godlike range or if it was just a temporary thing, but there is kind of this meme or like legendary status that the season one sniper pump has. That is not the case. The range on this is not absurd. I actually didn't use the pump when I played back in season one. I used the attack. So I don't know exactly how long the range was insane like that, but I think it was like a temporary bug that ended up getting patched. But either way, the sniper pumps aren't in the game. But the pumps can hit very hard and you can do double pump which is very insane in zero build the movement mechanics that we have are more modern than chapter one but they're not identical to chapter six there's sprinting mantling and sliding and then as i said you can already use those heels while moving as well but there's no like wall bouncing wall running or any of the rolling that we have in chapter six it's basically like chapter five movement this is somewhat of a debate within the community of people saying like how are they going to make this chapter one game mode but have like sprinting and mantling 
personally, I think if they went back to the actual chapter one movement, uh, it would be very slow and everybody would hate it. On top of the fact that there's no mobility in the game, it already feels very slow as is. So if we had to just like regular walk everywhere without the tactical sprint, I think the game would be very slow and very boring and people would lose interest much faster <clears throat> if that was the case. So I, I, I don't know. I feel like most of the people that are complaining about that are kind of off on that one. I, I think it's better off that we have like this movement that we have now rather than like the actual season one movement. Traps are also back, which is pretty surprising. And you can even use them in zero build. We have the spike traps, the electric traps, the boot, the bounce pads, which send you straight up. And then we also have the directional jump pads that send you a certain direction. And then launch pads are also in the loot pool. And these are basically the only mobility item we have in the game right now is going to be the launch pad. There's nothing else for mobility. Uh, there is like certain zip lines added to the map in zero build, but there's no mobility items. The launch pad is all we have. And you actually can place traps in zero build. This has never been a thing ever since we had zero build added to the game. You could not use traps, but in the OG game mode, you actually can place traps. It's just kind of awkward to make it work because there needs to be an actual floor piece uh, and it needs to be a fully built floor piece. There's certain like areas on the map where there's broken floors. You can't place it there. It has to be like in a house or in a shack or, you know, on top of dusty depot, something like that. You can't just place the launch pad in a field, which definitely limits how useful it is as a mobility item. A lot of the zones in zero build just kind of come down to who's willing to wait longer without any mobility in the game. And oftentimes you're not going to be able to use the launch pads there. But if there is a building in zone or a shack, you are able to put the traps down in zero build and that may or may not help you in the given situation or placing traps in zero build it'll depend on your keybinds but for me it's circle which is my switch mode button and then square is my trap button but you might need to go into the keybinds and bind these actions uh for zero build if you're only a zero build player you might not you know have these things bound but if you're a build player you're probably somewhat familiar with traps even though they haven't been in the game in a long time some other things to talk about is that there is no crown wins for winning in the OG game mode, which is fine in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. There's no AI in the game currently. I think this is something that will change over time and they will eventually add AI players to the game. But as of right now, from my understanding, 100% of the lobby is real players. And I've seen a lot of people complaining about how sweaty these games are. And I think some of that just comes down to it being a new big update. So there's going to be a lot of people on trying. Um, especially when you have a new update that drops, uh, especially a big one like this, typically the people who are on right away day one are the people who are more invested in the game and more likely to be sweaty. But also, if there's not AI in the game, there, there's probably a lot of people who are used to fighting AI players and then not having those AI players in the game ends up resulting in them getting a lot less kills. So if you're having a hard time, could just be that the game mode's new, might not be your thing, but also the lack of AI definitely does make it more difficult if you, if you are used to more modern Fortnite where there's just a bunch of AI in the lobby kind of filling it up. The OG pass is a new type of pass that was added with this update, and you do get this for having crew. So if you have Fortnite crew subscription active, you'll get this already. Otherwise, it's a thousand V-Bucks and there's three skins in it. There's a reskin of Aerial Assault Trooper, a reskin of Renegade Raider, and a reskin of Skull Trooper. And it's seeming like they're going to be doing a different OG pass for every OG season. Season one runs until January 31st. So you have until then to level this pass. And you don't actually need to play the OG game mode to level it. Uh, last season, I think, maybe it was before last season, they made it to where you just level up all the passes simultaneously. So you could play exclusively Festival and you'll level up the Battle Royale Battle Pass and the OG Pass and the Lego Pass. All, no big deal. You could play exclusively Creative. You could play exclusively Rocket Racing. XP is XP. The game doesn't care. So even if you have no interest in the OG game mode or you don't like it, if you get the OG Pass, you can play regular BR. You can play Creative. You'll still be able to get these skins. You don't need to play the OG game mode to actually unlock these skins. Uh... And like I said, this season goes until January 31st. So you have quite a bit of time to actually be able to level this pass up. And I think that's actually a mistake with this game mode. I think that there's a lot of hype for this and there's a lot of excitement right now. But season one of chapter one was very bare bones. And I think people are going to get bored of this rather quickly. So starting with season one makes sense. But I feel like having season one go for basically two full months into January 31st. I think a lot of people are going to lose interest in this game mode over time, which is fine, I guess. But yeah, I think once we get into the later chapter one seasons, like four onward, 
I, I think this mode will be a lot more exciting and fun to play, but for now it is incredibly basic. Obviously, that's what it's meant to be, but I think a lot of players uh, are not really that interested in playing Season 1 for two straight months. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, if you did find this video to be helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. He's like somewhat shambles too though. Because I didn't hit him that much and I full broke his shield. Nice, GG's. I was so lucky that I actually had launch pads to do that. It was, it was like scuffed to go for, but I thought it was the only way I could possibly like win that.